yes my people welcome back to another video so i know it's been a long time since the video has come out but your boy gets kind of busy you know what i mean but your boy's back with another video but today we'll be bringing you a different kind of video so this will be a player analysis video so i'll be analyzing pretty much my every touch or my every action in the game this game is against cornerstone grace are in the black and white i am in the middle right here cornerstone are in the navy bluish type kit we are at home as well so this is our home pitch yeah so let's get this video underway on to our first highlight of our player highlight analysis right here keeper has the ball and he throws it into midfield however i am pouncing on that like a lion like this pressure from from martin our striker and me uh, makes him cough up the ball right here and i actually follow through so i actually get it and then i can see like we're 2v2 right here but i play it across the martin one because i think he has a better chance of scoring and yep there he does my team scores and also i get my first assist of the season um, the next play here dave has the ball as a central center back i just drop in just to get a little bounce just trying to get the other team to move um but you can see i'm just checking in here flav has the ball at wide on the left i make sure my angle is good so he can play with the ball I probably could have played the ball to Jules out to the right over here, but I played it back to Marco and he ended up playing that to the right anyway. Um, Flab plays the ball across. Um, if you notice me, I ran forward first just to get this guy's attention right here. And then I was able to check towards the ball like here and able to find a um, pocket of space. But again, I had two players pressuring me there. So just a one touch set there back. So as the ball gets transferred out to the side, I feel like I thought Jules had time and space here, so I thought he was gonna drive forward. So I naturally was um, running forward. But I see he gets closed off here. He does a good job of um, getting past the defender, but he actually turns back, so he has less time and space here. So I'm about to check into this space right here. As I do, I make an angle, I check my shoulder. Um, I take a forward touch here and another forward touch. In this play, I actually didn't play it to Felipe, I believe this is, to our forward right here. Um, I wish I would have played that pass there, but I ended up playing that to the side. So yeah, just a good a good note there for me um, in ways I can play forward more as a midfielder. Um, it's a good note to take. But it's not bad playing to the side, but if we can play forward, we want to play forward. Balls out here, I'm just checking deeper, so I make sure we have a point that we can switch the ball in our team. Very important as a midfielder that you always want to be an option so you can switch the ball out to this, um, well, out to the right side and the left side, um, no matter what side the ball is on. So I'm there, I'm checking, I'm checking, I receive the ball. I have pressure on my left side and I know that and I don't think I could have played a forward pass here. So I ended up turning out to my right and playing it back to this um, central center back. He plays a forward pass, Felipe, Picks the ball up in a good space, but I don't, he didn't feel like he had a good forward pass on, so he turns back and plays the flag. But he actually runs out of there and clears the space. So I'm able to actually fill in that spot. And now I'm receiving the ball in between three players here. Unfortunately, I take a bad touch. If I was to take my touch forward, if I could, into this space possibly, or even a one-touch pass into, I think that's Flav. Um, again, another opportunity to play forward if we can, but... I actually take a bad touch and end up losing the ball here, but immediately after losing the ball, I make sure I apply pressure so they can play back and not um, play be, be able to play through us. Um, that clip there, just a couple of blocks. We love a good block party over there. Here in this next highlight, again, just um, making sure I provide an angle to my wing back. As you see, I receive and I look to switch the ball here. If I played it quicker, I probably could have squeezed that ball into Jules. But um, I felt like, again, well, I probably felt like in the game it was too closed off by these two players, but I definitely could have given the ball there. But again, they were, Cornerstone was sitting so deep, so we wanted them to come up so we can able to, um, be able to penetrate them again. Um, so I just played it back to Dave, he gave it back, and I just gave it back to the goalkeeper just to get them to step up a little bit so we had more space to penetrate. And then again there, just checking to get the ball, just keeping the ball moving um, and getting them to pop out of their, their block. 
Here we receive the ball, as I'm right here. Um, receiving, I'm asking for the ball here. I'm also checking my shoulder to the right to see if I can, if there's an opportunity to switch or play forward. I'm in a good pocket space because there's no one around me here. I'm in between one, two, three, and four players. And I get played the ball, but I also hear um, my center back saying I had pressure coming from my left hand side. I also had pressure, a little bit of pressure coming here. Um, so I just clipped it around and played to Dave and we were able to reset again. This one is just from a throw in. Yeah, he actually touched that ball. I don't know why that was in. Oh yeah, it's this next play. Yeah, so off a throw in again, making sure my angle's good. Um, looking to switch the ball. I actually saw Flav. Flav's gonna come into the pitch room pretty soon. Um, yeah, so I was able to play it over him. Over um, the opposition and over to Flav there. Ball goes forward from Jules. I'm making sure I have an angle so he can able, so once we play forward, I have an angle to set here. Make sure our forward players always have that option if I can provide it. He gives it back to Jules. Um, but sometimes the midfielder, you need to stand still. So here I, did, I realized I didn't need to move really. Again, standing in between um, opposition players, finding space. Um, Jules does well and clips the ball right over them. Again, like if I was to take a forward touch into this space as well, we'd be driving at their, um, their whole team here. And it takes one, two, three, four players out the game but because the ball was in the air I remember in this moment I was just thinking keep it keep it keep it so I took my touch backwards um, and made sure we were able to keep the ball here I definitely want to take my touch forward in those opportunities I'm again bouncing free ball I just want to get control of it and play it back um, just so we can establish a possession again here is just a bit of defending just getting in front of my um, opposition right there and then again applying pressure forward so they're not able to play through us um, so quickly and easy. Again, checking my shoulders in the middle, able to move into a space because I see the striker's here, so the space is this side of him. Also, a marker is clearing out that space so I can have more pressure. But I am wary of this player here because I do see him coming. Um, ideally, I would love the ball to come this side because um, he's the first player to press, so if I can get this side, which I end up doing, but if it comes more to my left side, it might be a little bit better so I can play out to that side. But he managed to miss the first player. It kind of catches me by surprise, so my touch was kind of off. But um, after the pressure, I was able to keep a hold of it and give it back to Flav. But then we were able to play and get out on the left. Ball's on the left again. Ball gets the flav and I know that there's space behind me so sometimes I drop into the back three just so I can get on the ball because I know that would draw out one of their midfielders sometimes. Um, so like here I'm playing it back to Dave. Just playing one twos with him because I know like he's going to draw out like he does there. I knew it would draw him out so if I play it back to Dave he can find a penetrating pass um, to Marco or even get out the other side and we can be able to build through the middle if possible. Um, but yeah, we drew out the four and we were able to play on the other side. Next highlight here, again, just a little bit of pressure. We were able to win the ball back. And um, I was actually in the perfect position after we won the ball back. Ball was played forward from Marco into Ethan and I was able to get the ball here um, and then play it out to Freddy. Oh, sorry, that wasn't Ethan. This is Ethan right here. Um, yeah, I don't know who it was, but I was able to get it back off a of forward <laughs> and I was in a good position to play out wide again. Again, just keeping possession off for a throw. Yeah, pretty basic as a midfielder. In this next highlight, get the ball from Zay. Zay actually does really well in this play um, here because the space is in here. And I think he sees that I'm about to trot into that space. I don't really sprint into it. But this player thinks that Zay's gonna pass the ball back to our center backs, but he actually sees that he's running there. So the pass is in here now. So he plays it well. I turn out ideally I would love to take a first touch on my left foot so I'm facing forward and I just seen like there's an, one of our forwards in space there so ideally again probably take my touch forward and face forward but again I was just focusing on keeping the ball at this point in the game ball gets squeezed out I was able to poke it to Zay they, Zay does well to um, retain possession and we were able to build out the other side 
This next player is off a throw in. We were able to build on the right side. I get the ball here. I probably could have just clipped the ball over this forward here into Flav, I believe that is, or um, played it into Marcos where he could play out. But um, I think I got, yeah, I go back to, into the space. Um, and ideally, you don't want to go back into pressure. But I was able to play it and then um, run forward so I was able to clear some space. Again, receiving the ball after a clearance on the edge of the box, preserve it into play into Marco and get it back and be able to play out on the other side. Again, in this play, I'm just offering an option. Flav didn't have anyone forward. So sometimes you just need a bounce. It's always good to offer a bounce to your back line. Just sometimes the pitcher may change if he gives you a bounce. So Flav didn't have anyone forward, but then he bounced with me and then he was able to play a forward pass into here. So you always want to option, like offer up an option to your midfielders. If you can get a bounce, like get a bounce, the pitcher may change. If it doesn't, then you can always find something else. Again, providing an angle after the throw in for my wide player. I didn't think I had a forward pass. So I was just playing it backwards. But again, after I played the ball backwards, I was able to find space. So like again, in between players, one, two, and three in that triangle. So I was able to find a space once the ball go back. Sometimes you don't really need to run that much to find space. Sometimes space finds you. And I was able to play a one-time ball out to Flav again. A little rotation between me and Marco. But again, holding my shape here, just so I'm a negative, um, I'm a negative option for my players to play backwards if they need it. And like an option for my wide players, as Flav did, I was able to play here. But I knew I had opposition pressure on my left and the guy coming on my right. So again, just a safe ball back to Dave. Dave is able to play out the other side. Next highlight here, again, looking for space and looking for the ball off my back line. I can see that he's pressuring um, their striker. Um, and then there's a hole this side of their um, striker. So I check in once again. Again, I would love the ball to play on my left side because um, the player's coming on my right side. But I get it on the right side. Um, I end up losing it, but again, immediate pressure onto the to opposition to stop him playing a fast forward ball, but then just keeping him wide away from my goal, basically. Uh, and yes, and this is the first half. I end up coming off in the first half just for a little break. And again, <laughs> this is the second half where I ended up starting. But yeah, so, so those two of my um, non-American friends, they have different rules over here in America where you can come off in the first half and then start the second half. But once you come off in the second half, then you're done. It's not like um, European rules. It takes a while to get used to you, but it is what it is. Again, over here, just start. We just start the um, second half, playing around, prodding and probing, just playing it around, getting Cornerstone to move around a bit, seeing where we can penetrate a pass. Here was just a throw in. I just offered up an angle. Was able to um, come in and take a touch, set back to our wide player that was taking the throw in here i was able to check out into a pocket on the outside of our back three right here um, dan actually played it into the middle um, and this is kind of where we get like some form of rotation kind of if i'm able to pop out into space then another player can fill my spot that's in the middle like uh, i think that's freddie that does it there he came in from the wing was able to fill the middle and then I was able to get the ball out into space. I didn't have a forward pass on, so I came across the middle and was able to find our central center back and he was able to play it out. And we were able to find wide there. Again, not moving too much, trying to stay in between players. So again, in between these two right here and these two. And you always want to try and stay high of like these two players right here, because then you can break pressure really easy um, back here. Again, I would probably my body shape is wrong here. I really want to see if possibly I can take out my left foot and open up and then look forward. But it's all right. I think we just yeah we just play it back there um, because we had pressure on our back. Um, the ball comes across here in this play. Our uh, centre back Dan picks up the ball. I end up finding up the finding up finding the ball in this middle here. Um, I'm able to take my touch forward. I see my nine Tyler checking in. Um, right here, so I was able to play a forward pass to him. He does a good job of setting it back to me. I knew I had pressure on my back, so I had to turn out 
maybe I could have played a pass into here, but because there were so many bodies in here, couldn't really see it. So just had to protect the ball and make sure we switch the ball out to the other side so they could potentially five Ferry, like Flav does right there. He loses the ball, but then we were able to react, get to get towards the middle of the goal, and we were able to poke, poke the ball through there. And then some quick plays out to the other side, and I knew there was pressure, so just a one touch backwards. I continue to move forward as the ball travels forward as well. But I was able to pick that pass up as well. Didn't really get a hold of it that much, but I was able to battle and able to keep that ball there. I'm receive it again, I believe, right here. And I knew the space that we wanted to get to was out here to Johnny, so I was able to turn out and find Marco, my other centre midfielder, and he was able to find that pass out wide. This next play here, again, centre back's picking up the ball. Flav is about to find me in this space here. Again, that space we're talking about, like being higher than these three forwards. We're able to take them out of the game. I was able to turn and play the ball out wide. Again, I was having pressure on my back, so I had to play it quickly. Again, checking my shoulders here in the middle, finding that space in between players. Again, I offered my angle a little bit to the right as well. I had I had an angle from Feli here, but I think I was just a bit too flat. Maybe if I went a little bit higher or a little bit deeper, the angle would have been better on a pass, but because he played it to Marco here, and I took a step to the right, or two couple steps to the right, I was able to have a better angle right here. Again, tried to face forward, but again, two players right here. So again, I have to keep the ball, play back to David. Then I drop into this pocket here, in between the back three, just to give the opposition a little bit something different to look at. And also, if I drop in here, it gives a chance for one of our other players to drop into the um, midfield and find some space. It also gives the opposition a little stuff like different to look at because they're so used to me me being in the middle but if I drop into the back three it's just something different. Again I'm receiving the ball here making sure my angle was good to receive the pass but I knew there was pressure coming from here I heard a man on call as well so I really didn't know where to go because I didn't really see anyone here. Fab was kind of standing behind me so I didn't really know I had an option to my left. So again, I just tried to make myself big and just protect the ball and end up winning a foul there. Again, finding that space in between players here. Again, the ball's played a little bit behind me, so I knew I just had to switch it there. Fab does a good job playing with Marco and getting the ball out to the other side. Again, I'm checking my shoulder here, looking forward to see who's on. I'm able to pick the ball up into this space again in the triangle, face forward. Again, I tried to play forward there, but I just didn't think anyone was on, but I was still staying in that space and was able to switch the ball here through Flav. Again, as the ball gets transferred, you notice how I go higher here. Um, I just wanted to see if I can get the ball in a different position because I've always been stood like right here. Sometimes in the midfield, you need to go somewhere else um, to receive the ball if you haven't received it or got past the back line a lot. So I decided to go higher here. The ball, me and David make eye contact here actually. And again, like I was going higher and then able to check in. And then again, like one, two, three, four, five players, David was able to take out of the game with that great pass there. I was able to get on the half turn and play it out wide to Johnny there. I'm again finding that space. If you notice, Marco was standing here and he was able to clear out. That's when I knew I could check into the ball also. Um, but again, I knew pressure was on my back. So just a first time touch ball back to Colt, I think that is now. Ball bounces over my head there, but I was able to recover well and therefore kind of messed up there. But I was able to drive forward, find the nine's feet again. And I made sure to offer an angle here, just here because you can see Cornerstone like recovered well, all the players got behind the ball. So we wasn't really able to break them down. So again, playing it here, playing it back, trying to draw them out again, also just to get the, get them running some more. Again, defensive recovery. The, their player does a, um, a good job of turning, but Colt does well to delay him enough so I can get that tackle in there. Again, this is me um, out wide in, the, in that outside pocket. I was able to drift out and play the ball out wide. But again, as soon as I get it from one side, I'm looking to get it to the other side. As you can see there, I was able to get my body in a good position there so I could play to Marco and we could find the other side. Here, I was just trying to get a touch on the ball just to draw him out. But again, that set is like, terrible. 
I brought Colt on so, under some pressure there. But if you notice, as I took the set and it was played back to Dan, I kind of just held my position right here because their players kind of just stepped up, but their midfield didn't come with them. So there was just space right here. Um, and Dan actually finds me, it was good. Ideally, I would love to take that touch either into this space here or just kind of face forward and then take a touch into this space and then play it out because you can see, uh, I think that Santi has like tons of space out, out wide on this left side. But I was able to switch it through the back, through David. But again, that probably could have been a better pass. But again, we had some pressure. So again, offering up my angle here, making sure I was actually in front of these guys now. But because they're in front, they didn't really pressure and I had more time and space here and I was able to, I think, find the wide player. Well, no, I didn't find that. But I would dearly would like to find a wide player, but probably there's a player cutting them off. Um, this ball comes on the edge of a corner. I was actually really annoyed with this pass um, after I did it because Zay done a great, a great run spinning off there. Um, I think that's their fullback. Spinning off here and making a darting run in here. And if my weight of pass was good, like he would have been in on goal. We probably could have passed it across the box and could have been a tap in. So I was really annoyed about that. Again, I'm picking the ball up on that um, outside pocket, outside the three. I was able to take forward touch and also find, uh, that was actually our wing back checking into the middle. I'm just pausing it here because I just wanted to kind of explain what I'm doing here. So I wanted to keep um, their winger out wide and keep pushing him away from our goal. I didn't want him to come in size if he could connect to feet here or here or even somehow find this other side. Because we're recovering, I want to keep him away from the goal as much as possible. So I make it look like really inviting. So I even stop if you saw there and I just make it really inviting for him to go down the line. And again, I just be patient, be patient until I'm able to win it cleanly. In this highlight here, now looking back at it, I, ideally I would love to receive the ball higher, like possibly like here because look how much space there is here in this midfield but also like and i think i'm pretty sure i lose the ball in this play but like i checked in a little bit too early as the clip plays like you can see like he takes the ball off me and i don't even see him on my left side because i'm like i turned away not seeing this guy so i turned out left and i didn't see him coming but if i was to receive the ball higher here i probably had more time and he would have had more to run I would have just had more time if I received it a little bit higher there. So again, receiving the ball here on a free kick. Um, I saw that our back line was all loaded on the right-hand side, so there was tons of space right here. So I just drifted out in here, again, giving them something different to think about. And then also, because we also had one, he was worried about him, so I knew I was able to take my touch inside. And here, just driving into the space, driving into the space. And then as I'm driving, I just want to draw people in. Like, so I was able to draw one, two, and this guy trailing. I draw. I was able to draw him towards me. So now I knew I could find the open player. And this, in this case, it was Tyler right here. Um, and he was able to play forward and drive forward as well. And there we have the end of the game. For me, anyway. The coach brought the subs on. I came off. And we ended up winning this game 4-0. I really enjoyed making this video, but this is the end of it now. I know it probably went on longer than I probably could imagine, but... Thank you very much if you're still watching this video here. Probably cut it down a little bit in the next video. And maybe not do every touch, but just maybe some of the highlights. But thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Peace.